My name's Ron Beckham, and I am on the road to becoming a professional wrestler. Now, as of right now, I train at somewhere called the Reality of Wrestling, owned by none other than WWE legend Booker T. Now, I randomly came across this place looking for wrestling gyms in Houston, and this seemed to be the uh, best one out here. And of course, I mean, come on, it's Booker T. Now, what I'm doing for you guys right now is pretty much documenting my journey and letting you guys see my day in the lives and how my training goes, and if I have what it takes to become a professional wrestler. So I'm honestly finishing up with my first month. This will be the last week of the month and we have practice today. So I'm going to go through a full day right now. We're about to get ready to go to the gym for my first session of the day before we head to the wrestling ring later in the day. Workout today brought to you by Alpha Lion. Use code AFTERMATH. What I like to do is take in some pre-workout and then when I'm done, sip on some pump afterwards into the middle of my workout. So finishing up right now, babe asleep. I'm trying not to be too loud, but yeah. So just a little background for those who don't know me, I have gained my following, my subscribers, everything through a process of heavy lift, uh, heavy weight lifting, doing crazy, you know, gym stuff. And also at a time in my life, I was able to try out for the NFL without any college experience. And that's where a lot of people have come from, um, from my football background. And despite not playing college ball, you know, through through my athleticism and, and hard work, you know, and training, I was able to try out for the Jets, for the Indianapolis Colts, uh, for the New York Giants, you know, back in 2017. Now, although that didn't work out for me, I've still strived to use my athleticism in something else. And I tried rugby for a bit. Rugby was fun. I would have loved it if I would have done it earlier. You know, I'm 31 years old right now so it's hard to jump into a sport so late you know and expect much from it for the future and you know a lot of people come through my comments like you don't give things enough time like bro like I gave football six seven years of my life you know of not even getting much of anywhere I played rugby you know that was on a whim I didn't ask to play rugby I was picked to play rugby right it would be different if I went to go like, you know, but I just tried it out. Um, once again, would have loved it, but I'm just too old for it. There's nothing I can't, I wouldn't gain much from it in the long run, you know, how I see myself in the future. So during the years of my Jets training, the year after I tried out for WWE, everything went great, was going to sign, um, but couldn't due to, you know, my social media and how, you know, things were ran and I just couldn't afford to sign the contract at that time. Now we're making our way back around and I'm trying to prove my worth um, and really give this my all. You know, this is something that I enjoy. Every time I go to practice, I enjoy being there. I enjoy learning. I enjoy the aspect of, you know, athleticism, choreography, and, and it feels right to me. Out of everything that I've tried, like this feels the most fun and most right to me you know i understand the hard work and things these wrestlers go through with traveling and you know their body i understand that i've, I've already talked to my girlfriend about this we have a five-year ten-year plan or whatever and i'm i'm seriously trying to go all in with this and hopefully you guys see me on the big screen but let's go ahead and hit to the gym um today is like a full body-ish kind of day not necessarily like one body part um but you know i've kind of been going through full body days and literally just like some cardio mobility type of days because you know adding in my wrestling days the body I need some recovery so I don't try to go in here and do the whole bodybuilding type of split um, you know I'm a hybrid athlete I do hybrid training so um, my days can consist of full body days so let's go ahead and head to the gym and yeah look at my neck bright I get that check right I'm so blessed right off of that jet pipe off of that side I'm in a new coupe, got a bin fire, I said what I said, right? Yeah, I get that check, right? I'm so blessed, right? I'm in that jet pipe, I'm in that, what's that? I'm in a new coupe, got a bin fire. I get that check, right? Yeah. Working on hip mobility, strengthening in different ranges of motion. So you see this band around my knee, pulling out, so I'm already engaging. Hips, 
And as I move through certain motions, just like this, I'm having to keep my knee from caving in. So this little depth, especially if you sit a lot or game a lot, as I do, this little depth helps with hips, with lower back issues, and opening, opening and strengthening up your hips as well. Now we got some traction, everything been so surreal. I'm trying to get used to keeping check of how I feel. All right, so we're starting our workout. We're getting into our depth jumps. I've been taking like 40, like 30 to 40 minutes, like with the warm ups lately, like just really like getting a sweat going before I even start my training because that's kind of how I want my mentality to be before practice. Like, like yo, I need to get a sweat in before we start training, you know, just to, cause I've been very lazy, you know, in the past with like, oh, I'm good, you know, and I'm trying to decode myself out of that mentality. So it starts here with the daily gym sessions and I have to discipline myself to do it before my workouts, before I go do it, you know, for uh, practice and stuff. Doing these box jumps, grab a box that's basically your vert without your arms. So like, arms to your side, jump straight up, you know, whatever that height is, that's where your box height should be. So I ain't feeling, I'm not feeling inclined barbell today. Let's go to the uh, incline machine instead. Some days are just like that, just like, ah, you know, I'm not feeling the barbell today. And I kinda wanna go unilateral single, single strength stuff. And I also did some heavy Viking presses yesterday, so I might just be like trash in my front delts. So I'm trying to take a better decision to still hit the upper chest, but not with barbell. Yeah, this already feels much better. My angle and my elbows, just, yeah. We'll go here, we can still go crazy on this stuff. All right, so now we have the steel rows, something I've been supplementing every week constantly on, on you know, at least two times a week. Because the thing about it is, it's like, yeah, my bench is strong, but I need my pull to be strong as well. And you can play with it. If you want to be more lax, you can pull your elbows in. If you want more rear delts, you can have your elbows a little bit out. Pull, pull, one, two, three, L. Three. So right now we're doing our single leg jump. We got 10 each side. So I have this machine right here where I can hold on to the weight and stay stationary instead of you know using dumbbells. I just kind of want to focus on my uplift from the shins. I mean from the shins, calves on up, and just kind of be a little bit safer. But we're gonna do this for 10 sets. I mean 10 reps each leg for three sets. So build that tension, build that, that callus in a way for the shins, for the calves, build protection, build strength, build mobility, flexibility, build that rapid you know, flexion with the, uh, with the nerves and things while when we're doing this because you know, last thing I want to have is some shin splints or anything. It's like stupid, that's not like very painful, but it's annoying pain. So we're trying to really take care of our calves, take care of our shins, you know, um, you know, those little muscles sometimes, you know, the ankles especially, where I'll be doing, where they'll be taking a lot of damage, so. So I do these three times a week in order to keep me, you know, pain free when I'm doing this. Yeah, so, you know, taking care of those shins is very crucial, especially for somebody who, you know, if your shins hurt a lot when you're jumping or running, this 
something you should definitely add in two to three times a week to your program. I do about set to 10, about four to five uh, each leg. Uh, you have a lot of reps, but if you think about it, how much you're on your legs, how much, you know, tension and load running and jumping takes on your shins, it, it needs to be high volume so your body can adapt and, uh, and endure, you know, all that, all that weight. Babe's in here, getting her workout in. Oh, all right, so let's go ahead and make this simple bacon and egg and egg white sandwich with a good old fashioned protein shake. But first I'm gonna shower. I always be leaving my damn headphones in. It to work out pretty good though, you know, even though we were at the gym for like four hours. All this coming in tight though, man. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta get rid of these. For me to get rid of these, I really have to drop my body weight down. That's what's crazy. And I would have to literally build back up. I would probably have to drop down to like 220, yeah. Got to take care of the beard or it's weird. Oil in the beard to make it luscious and have them blushes. You feel me, ladies and gentlemen? Do you feel me? Do you feel it, Mr. Krabs? You can get it on your lips too, you know, soften your lips up too. That oil, man. Comb it through. See, I comb it down, boom, into it. Comb it into it. I feel like the prince. I feel like. Why just I? <laughs> you got your makeup PR, baby? Yes, I've never got makeup PR before. And from Urban Decay. Bake through on this, all the rest of it? Yeah. Bake through on the rest of the bacon for me. We about to make a fire ass bacon taking sandwich. No, I, don't, I don't have anything around with that. <laughs> you added it. I was trying to add to it, but damn, I'm slacking right now. I got to get this down because when I do my promos, I got to be on it. Bacon taken will have you mistaken with a rack you'll be raking. If you don't know me, you if you don't know, I like a lot of pepper because I'm a big stepper. of two scoops of protein, scoop a serving of PB Fit, um, chocolate almond milk. All right, so here's my sandwich with extra egg on the side. Let me go on how. A woo woo. <coughs> a, crazily enough, I'm behind on calories right anyway, so this is about like 800 calories, no bullshit. All right, got the protein shake right here. 50 grams of protein from the protein itself. Maybe a lot like, uh, like two grams or four grams from the milk, hold on. 55 grams of protein. Oh, it's only one gram. One gram of protein from the milk and then 16 grams of protein from the PB Fit. So, 111 grams of protein from this one meal. Finish my shake, finish my sandwich. Do some emails, game, get some work done. I found it easier to honestly have my milkshake or my protein shake with my meal versus having it separate. Because anytime I remember to eat, it's like, all right, I eat, you know, make a quick shake with it, you know, versus like trying to make it like my in between meal snack. I'd rather just eat it all in one go. All right, we dressed up. About to head over to Texas City. Babe's actually gonna help me out today. She don't wanna go, but she- Yeah, I don't wanna go. She, huh? I don't wanna go. <laughs> I said she don't wanna go. She was like, yeah, I don't wanna go. <laughs> no, I said I didn't wanna go. Huh? I didn't say I didn't want to go. I said, yeah, I wanna go. You do? You don't see me look a fool. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's go, shouty. Let me poke that booty out on the camera. How am I supposed to get it? Go. We got buckets right here. If you ever been to buckets, I've never been to buckets. Can you believe that? I've never in my life been to buckets. Hell, I didn't even know what it was when I moved. What the stopping spot was when we traveled? KFC. Watch the subway. <laughs> So fucking tired of Every time we travel, where the KFC at? Man, especially when we was driving to Arkansas, we hit that KFC on the hill, get some gizzards. You know what gizzards is? Gizzards is the gadaddlings, or the chickens, or the hens, whatever you may, roosters, whatever you may call. I think it's roosters. The the, the gazazzlets of the roosters. The things was good, especially if you get a good batch. They chewy. It's just eating on some gizzard gills. I have no idea what is going on to the ring right now. Look at babe, she don't know what to do. All right, so left the facility. We are at Chick-fil-A. I was gonna go to Chipotle, but the reviews on Chipotle was hella bad. So we had Chick-fil-A, got two chicken sandwiches and some waffle fries for free.
right, remember, with my right, with my right knee or my right leg, I, I'm not gonna sprawl out anymore. Okay. This is that's what you're that's what you're doing. Don't go. Yeah, you're doing you're giving me this. Right? So you're closing the, the bridge, the gap for him to jump over. So where, where that knee goes, that stays. All this, all that, all that this leg is gonna do is meet this. Boom. And then from there, now I do the shot for the, the switch. What's up? We are done. Heading back to the crib. We at the car right now. It was a good session. It was a good learning session. That's like one thing. Like, you know, I need that repetition with reps and stuff. The other days, I, I wasn't really getting that. I was just kind of like looking and copying and not really learning like that. But nah, we're gonna do the we're gonna go on these days. Where it's a little bit more much more beginners, but you know, I learn more. So off to the house. Shout out to Babe for getting a little bit of footage. I try. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm at the crib right now. Finished with practice. Protein shake right here. Another 50 grams. Actually about the food's getting ready right now. I'm about to eat. Uh, editing the video as we speak. This video that you're watching right now. It is 1241. It's late night. Didn't expect to get that Chick-fil-A in. Uh, I wanted to get up because I had I was doing stuff. And you know, laid down for a bit, and next thing you know, it was time to go. So, did not follow my rule, you know, of of food intake. I didn't want to like have a big meal and then have another high calorie big meal. So I'm over calories today. Um, but as long as honestly, as I get my protein in, I'm perfectly fine. I'm, it's it's whatever, you know. But I'm, we definitely gonna finish this protein shake up and uh, get my last meal of the day in. All right, so we got some shrimp, eleven pieces. Some white rice right here. Boom. Gonna make some boom boom sauce, baby. 
Is it boom boom sauce? Ray's boom boom room. And half an avocado. For the last meal of the day. Hey, old buddy, what do you say? I feel like I would be a great um, kid show adult. Like me. So long, farewell to you, my friend. I, I would definitely be that guy. But I'm all tatted up now, so they ain't gonna have me. They're like, get this nigga out of here. <laughs> and boom. Finishing off the day right with some boom boom sauce, some rice, some shrimp, and some avocados. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my entire day. Hope you guys enjoy. Appreciate you for being here. Subscribe to the channel once again. Like this video. Catch you on the next one.